Hi, my name is Bill Ward, and this is my home Bricks by the Bay layout. I had a little mock tour yesterday during the virtual convention, and in case you missed it or if you just want to review it, I'm making a video for you. This first model we're going to focus on, I call this the Rainbow Apartment House. I actually built this during the convention yesterday. While the opening ceremonies and the first couple of talks were happening, I was standing at my Lego table watching the video on my computer and I cranked this out. I'm really amazed at how much I was able to get done, just three hours of work, especially on three hours of sleep. The solar panels on the roof are something that I picked up from one of my favorite Micropolis builders, Christian Benito from Portland. And next to it, there's a couple of little suburban houses. And here you can see the suburban houses are on a 16 by 16 block. And the 16 by 16, well, I guess it's a quarter of a block, is the basic unit of the Micropolis. Looking back at the apartment building, you can see it takes up three quarter block spaces. And so you can do a quarter block or a half block or three quarter block or a full block, depending on how much brick and how big your idea is. So the house is just the basic two houses on one minimal quarter block space, the 16 by 16 Lego studs. And if you look here, the road is divided down the middle, and the Micropolis standard actually includes half of the road on each module. And so one of the reasons why I had only three hours of sleep the night before is because I stayed up until five in the morning uh, cranking out enough of these separator pieces that go around the edges of the layout and they all snap together the way the modules snap together with these little pinholes. Now if you're familiar with Micropolis you might be wondering why do I have these arches here? The arches are a extension to the Micropolis standard uh, designed by one of our club members, uh, Zonker Harris, and this is what he calls Micropolis 2, which is in order to allow the uh, routing of wires for illuminating your models. He is really into electronics and he has a lot of LEDs and even Arduino computers in some of his Micropolis models. And he proposed this standard of putting archways underneath your models so that we can run the wires between the models. If you're interested in learning more about this, he has a website about the Micropolis 2 standard and he actually gave a talk about it at Bricks by the Bay yesterday. So if you're interested in that, you might want to check that out. Um, also, these two little houses also violate the Micropolis standard in that the sidewalk is a stud back from the road. I did this as a uh, another idea that I got from Christian Benito, actually, where he did some houses with this kind of an approach, and it makes a more suburban feel. But you notice that at the edge of the module, the sidewalk does come back up to the road so that it can interface with the next-door neighbor. So it still plays well with its friends. Next, we have the Micropolis Hospital. This hospital design is based on the old buildings at the San Francisco General Hospital. And I took some photos from Google Image Search and used that as the basis for this design. The overall design is sort of a U shape uh, with the side thing sticking out where the, I guess it's for a stairwell. Um, the actual hospital today has been extended and rebuilt, so this is more like what it looked like when it was first built around 100 years ago. The next module I'm going to show you is the canal. The canal is also from one of Christian Benito's things. He designed this bridge piece. I just copied his design and changed the colors a little bit. This bridge piece allows the cars to get from one side of the canal to the other, and it provides a nice uh, thing for the boats to have to try to get under. You'll notice that all of these sailboats are stuck on one side of the bridge. The, flat, the trees with the orange and yellow leaves are meant to look like ginkgo trees in fall, and that was also a ripoff of Christian Benito's design. You can see his stuff on Instagram at brick underscore root. The next module I want to show you is my first four ever Micropolis modules. I call it uh, Play, Live, Work, and Shop. So the first is the playground, which has a slide, a merry-go-round, and a few other things. And then next to it we have the housing, built, housing block, which has uh, one, two, three, four uh, row houses stuck together, or brown stones, or whatever you want to call them. And then next to that, on the other side, we have the shop, which is a retail establishment of some kind. Uh, maybe a car dealership, maybe a furniture store, not really sure. The sign's blank. 
And next to that we have an office building. Now these four models were my first ever Micropolis buildings. I built them because I went to Brickworld in 2008 and needed something that would fit in my luggage to bring with me. And these are pretty sturdy and they fit in my luggage. So that's why I built Micropolis. Now if you're wondering, Micropolis is a co collaborative display system where basically whenever we have a club meeting or Lego convention and two or more Micropolis builders like myself show up, we put all our models together and make a city just for the day. And sometimes it's as big as this table, sometimes it may go on for 20 feet. If you look at any of the LEGO conventions from the US or around the world, you'll often see a large Micropolis layout. And that's because with these quarter block designs, it's really easy to fit them together, make the streets match up, and form a nice little city. Now the last model here on the layout um, is, actually it's not the last model, I want to get across the street too, but I'll cover this first. This is my elevated train station. Now this is based on the Bay Area Rapid Transit or BART stations. I live in El Cerrito, California and my local station is the El Cerrito del Norte station and it is based on the design of that station although I take a few liberties with it as well. So if you look down here below you can see the ticket vending machine, you can see the turnstiles, you can see the elevator columns, you can see the escalators, and over here we have a look down the track. You can see there's a train in the station and there's digital signs reading off the time. Uh, on the surface we see we've got some handicap parking with the blue marker there. We've got some taxi cabs waiting to pick up some passengers. We've got some commuter parking. And over on the other side of the station we've got more handicap parking and we've got a bus depot. So here come the buses to pick up or drop off people. And more parking of course. The cars you can see here are mostly a jumper plate and a one by one tile. And at this scale that's about all you can do for a car, although there's a few variations and you can see in this parking lot. Uh, in the Micropolis world, 10 feet long or 3 meters is about equivalent to two studs. So you can fit a car, but that's about it. Uh, although the scale is a bit loose. Next to it we have a gas station, Lego's famous Octan brand of course and we have gas pumps and a couple cars getting gas and next to it you have got a taco truck and then over here we've got the Lego Mini Modular set. It's a, not quite the right scale for Micropolis but it looks nice in there if you don't look too hard at the scale and I built an adapter to make it fit in three Micropolis quarter blocks. So that right there is my Micropolis layout. Thank you very much and in another video we'll cover some of the other things I showed.